Largo from the New World Symphony, first violin. Should we have a mute? Put your mute on. Starting at measure five, because that's where you start. Measure five. Starting with that last note, uh, depending on what the, what the conductor wants, you might hold it out for a little bit longer, which is why they put that little, um, that little up bow there. Um, you might not have to use it, but just in case, you feel free to use your elbow and then come back up if you need it. Not a big deal. Uh, the beginning. It's going to be with the muse, it's going to be nice and contemplative, so it's like you're sitting in a park thinking about life. Um, don't go crazy, it's nice and soft, nice and relaxed. Something to watch out for, five, six, seven, measure seven. You're going to go one, one, and three, and one. That's incorrect. Careful. One, and three, four, one. So those are chord notes. D, E, quarter, quarter, dotted half. Careful. The same rhythm comes up uh, later on. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Around measure 11. And it's like the same thing as the beginning. Tricky too. At 13 and 14, you're, uh, you're, you're going to want to go one and three, one and three. Incorrect. No, that's not right. One and three, quarter, quarter, half. Careful. Then you're going to take your mute off. Lucky you. Two, three, four, one, two. Same thing here. 
Um, it's deceptive because at 17 and you're used to one and three, one and three. Incorrect. Careful. One and three, one, two, three, one, two, quarter, quarter, dotted half. Be sure the quarter notes are where they should be. Don't do the dotted, the dotted quarter in the eighth note um, when, when you shouldn't. Then at 24. Uh, at around 21, you have the same figure as the beginning. Sure, you use your fourth finger there. At 25, similar. Should we play that crescendo there at 26? Um, use your marble bow, get closer to the bridge, and increase uh, the bow weight, your arm weight. At 25. You gotta back off there. Lean into that E, that fourth finger. Lean. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. Um, careful not to. I, I almost just did it. Careful. Don't attack that D very hard. Just be sure it's nice and smooth transition. Um, then back off. Kind of slow down your slow down your bow your bow speed until there's nothing left and just kind of stop. At 29, it's piano. So very low bow weight and don't use don't use too much bow. Low two. Crescendo at 31. Careful. Res. Five. At 35, you have your first finger on the A string, regular first, going straight to a low one on the E string. It's really weird. Something you have to practice, and you have to get better at that. Um, so regular one on the tape, if you have it, and then you have to scooch on over to the E string and drop your first finger. What are the notes? Starting from 32. Rest. When we get to the tremolos at 40, Feel free to use your your full bow for the initial attack, but then you gotta back off. Um, it's easier to do tremolo when you're at the tip of the bow here. It's kind of hard to kind of hard to control that. So full bow, then you gotta back off at the very very tip. If you want more sound, play it towards a bridge, but you need more control at the tip. Um, at forty, at forty up to like forty three, um, there you have a little div. Divisi, that means you're divided. Um, so like player number one plays the top, player number two plays the bottom. Then three plays top, four plays bottom. Um, divided by Stan, ask your teacher, they should know what's, what's, what's up with that. Um, so like the bottom line, I know it looks funky, but the bottom line has a G, then an F natural, then open E or a four, Again, be sure you're at the tip, uh, follow your line. It might be a little confusing at first because it's kind of a lot of information all in one thing, little thing. Um, careful, be sure you're, you're following the right line. Uh, 42, it says non, non divisi. So that means you're going to play both your open strings at the same time. So at 41, I'm going to play the bottom line, that C natural, nice and low. Two, three, four, non divisi. Two, three, four. Two, three, 
four, one. That part is really interesting. There's a couple ways you can do it. Uh, the fingering that's written is three, two. So regular three on your E string, high two, or your major finger pattern. And for that C, you're gonna have to shift, well, not shift, it's more of a stretch. So E, sorry, A, and then A flat, then C natural stretch. And then so C natural, then B natural, and then you're gonna hit one uh, high two, low two. Kind of funky, I know. So four, then so four, four, two, two, high four. I know it's really weird. Or you can do two, three, shift four, and keep four and three. Instead of going four, four, in the second position. And then you can do two, one, one, three. It's up to you. I would do what's written in the music because everybody's gonna be using that, so that's what I would do. So three, two, four, four, two, two, one, three. You might hear wah, 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 wah. You might hear some uh, sliding in there. Be sure it's nice and crisp. Et cetera, et cetera. And once you move on from there, it's pretty straightforward, except at 47, you have, so at 3 before 49. You have that low 3, it even, it even tells you in the music. Low 1. L1 means low one. So you have the low finger pattern with your first finger way towards the back. And so this little piece of wood right here is called the nut. You have your first finger way back there. Uh, da, da, so C, D, E, F natural, low one, low two. And then your low three is going to be touching. So it's like your major finger pattern, just kick back a half step. Uh, e, G, G, C, D, E, F, G, A flat, low three. And then you really have to accent this little accent over that G at 50, sorry, 48. So. Use your full bow very, very quickly. So one, sorry, two and three touching. Then once we hit to right uh, at 48, it's gonna be be sure your second finger is nice and low on the A string. Rest 49. Rest retake. Rest. Rest retake. At 49, it's gonna be a tendency to rush because there's a rest. Um, but you take your time taking doing the whole retake there. Rest, rest. And when your when your bow comes back to the frog, remember you have to set the bow on the string first, and you're gonna feel a little grip. See how, see how my violin is moving? Okay, you're gonna want to feel that little pull on there. Then you pull across. Rest, set. Rest, we take set. Rest. Rest, retake, set it, nice and pull, and pull across. Now, careful, I don't want to hear, rest, right, don't, don't accident, okay? You, you're going to feel a little tug there, rest, rest, all that jazz, rest, rest, you might feel a little bite there on the string, I forgot. Uh, 50, you're gonna wanna rush there and that's okay. Just take your time, watch the conductor, listen across. Rest, rest. Okay, the conduct your conductor might slow down, it's up to them. And that was Largo from the New World Symphony, the first violin part.